everyone, um, you might realize that this isn't the place where we last left off on episode 7, and that's because I tried to record episode 8, and the footage crashed. It's like the fifth time it's happened on this channel, but as you can see, I was about to build something with sugarcane, uh, make an automatic sugarcane farm, and I also managed to get a cactus from a wandering trader, and that's really all you need to know to get caught up. So, uh, now that I've told you what you missed, it's, uh, time to start the episode. So, uh, before the video starts, I just want to say, my, me and my family are going on vacation for a few weeks, or, like, maybe two weeks, so there won't be a lot of posts lately. I mean, I might do a couple polls, I don't know yet, but, yeah, don't expect a lot of videos. But, so, uh, yeah, uh, on with the video. Okay, so continuing where I left off, um, I was trying to make a sugarcane farm, and... It was supposed to be like a little mini tutorial inside of the episode, but now the episode's lost the time. So, um, I don't know really what to do. I, I, <laughs> I guess I just continue what I'm doing. It's kind of awkward just to kind of start all, all over again for this episode, because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so I guess after I'm done with this, we can try and figure out what to do. But I actually do have a plan for this episode. And, um, it's, for so it, it's something I've been putting off. That circle right there. Yeah, I finally know what I'm gonna do with it. And I will tell you guys, after I'm done with the sugarcane farm. Ooh, suspense. Wow, I'm gonna go with that. The reason why I was making the sugarcane farm for episode 8 was because I wanted to make a full enchanting area thing. Oh, I need, I need a lot more chests. Wait a minute. Oh, I also built this fireplace. I completely forgot. And that's it. All I really need to do is make, the, make it look a little bit better than it actually does. And that's it. I don't know if sugarcane actually need the sun to grow, but it's great to just have the sun just in case. Huh? Oh. Um. You need some help there, buddy? There you go. Right, back to the circle thing. We are going to need a lot of stone as usual. First things first, we need to fill up the circle. So basically my idea for this place is in the middle of the circle, there will be a fountain. And I'll try to make the fountain do something special. I mean, I'm not that good redstone, but I'll try. Oh, whoa, the copper's oxidizing really fast. Like, faster than I imagined it to. So, a lot of it is still orange, but at least it's doing its best. I'm also gonna try to get myself some better tools. I can't, I can't live with these stone ones. I have just enough diamonds to craft another pickaxe, but I might have to go mining in between episodes. All right, let's also get uh, iron axe and iron shovel, and we're ready to collect some stone. So I guess I'll be back when I collected enough. I have no idea how much is enough, but y'all be back. And I, and I only realized now that I still haven't been wearing this diamond chest plate that I got from like earlier episode eight that I'm safe and we can start the building process. You know, I just realized I've been calling this episode episode 8. This is episode 7. I actually did not have enough. It, it's almost done, though, as you can see. But I think it's like one more session of mining and smelting, and then it'll be done. Okay, back from doing the mining thing, and I have decided that I'm going to do this the lazy man's way. I have andesite also. And it's close enough to stone. <laughs> And also, I really need to break up all the monotony with just the stone bricks. It looks very bad. Okay, so I have the markings. And all I really need to do is create an inner circle. And that is the center. All right, now all I gotta do is wait for this stuff to smell. Just kidding, I do not have enough patience for that. I'm taking it right now. I am so close to finishing this. Uh, quickly see how good... I forgot one crucial detail! As you can see, I'm not the best redstoner in the world. I forgot to put a row of blocks here. Now, this will activate the pistons. But all of them have already grown, so I'm gonna have to do it this manually. Now, ain't that cool? Okay, I might have to pick all of this up. That's 20? That didn't even make it in. Wow. Um. Also not the most efficient. 22 is the best we're gonna get for now. Right now. Only now. 
All right, this has to be it. Please. No. Oh, hey, look, it's fixed. Wow, that was fast. I finished that in one go. How, wow, it's, well, I cannot believe that. And that's only part one of what I have planned. I mean, part, part two is trying to get this pathway all sorted out, which is gonna require more bricks. I mean, luckily for me, this next part requires both cobblestone and stone bricks. <coughs> Whoa! Oh, 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 ah, oh, oh gosh. Um, probably not the best idea to build this right on top of a ravine, but I don't care. I take no, I don't really take risks. I'm more of a careful person in life. But I don't care. Well, I do care. But okay, let, let's move on. You know what? I think we can also add some gravel into this road. A lot more texture than it already had. But that means I'm gonna have to go down here. And I have come prepared with a water bucket. Here we go! Try number two. Try number three. Yes! Ah, first try, I'm telling you. No, please. Please don't! Thank goodness. I cannot believe I'm actually doing this. How is this working? Minecraft logic, I'm telling you. I used a single water bucket to climb up a ceiling. But anyway, that's not the point. We got... Whoa, whoa, let's cover that up. We got the gravel. And there we go! Now we have a textured pathway all the way to the house. All right, the final thing I want to do is I want to make the fountain. W what are you doing? What, are, you, are you trying to say something? Nope, nope, wait a minute. Got, got a better idea. I don't want to make everything gray. I, I want to follow the, like, the way that my house looks with the wood and the copper. So I think I'm going to have this fountain made entirely of copper. I mean, it could, it could look good. <laughs> It would fit in with my house. Nope. Now, now that I say it, the sugarcane farm that I made over there does not fit in with the house. Like at all. So I guess I'm just gonna have to smelt it with. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Wow! This is amazing. This is fun. Amazing. Fast. Wow. <laughs> Maybe I'll just do a lap around the base. Does that help? Ah! Maybe I'll just look at the sugarcane farm for a little bit. I don't like it very much. <gasps> you done yet? Uh, 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 what do I do? Maybe I'll just breed a couple of the animals real quick. Okay, one's done. The final one's still not done. Maybe I'll just watch the sunset from my window. Even though I can't very, even though I can't see it very well. Ah, yes, finally done. <laughs> I need nine of those. Actually, scratch that, I needed 12 of those. Ah, I, I need more coal. You guys happen to have any coal? Whoa, oh, huh? Huh, huh? Oh. And that is what we call the one, two switcheroo. Okay, th this is starting to get a little bit. We need to trap this guy. Or trap at least one of you guys. Yep, okay, you're stuck. I don't want the rest of you anymore. So basically, what we've got to do, oh, got to do, we have to get the lava from right here, and bam, look at that. And the few, that's a, the what? That's probably the that's, that, that's probably the big, the most big brain I've ever been in a single episode before. Oh no! I could have put the lava in there. It would have gone twice as fast. It would have had infinite fuel. It would have. Hmm. I want to turn these pillagers into people who will actually be able to wander around the little village I'm creating. All I really need to do is try and get out of their way. Whoa! 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 Oh, is, is, 
I think that guy has piercing. Wait a minute. This is the most productive thing I've ever done. Wait. Wait. I did everything all wrong. I could have got more stairs if I had just not crafted the c cop. What? Alright, to wrap this episode up, I'm gonna show off the final version of the Fountain of Truth right after I get to. Whoa, that's beautiful. Wow. Now that is a side shot of going to bed. Well, the. the wow. Alright, um. That, that. Here, that's what it looks like. Like, it might not look good from this angle, but. Okay, it doesn't really look good for any angle. It, it'll look better once the copper oxidizes. I've never been good at making fountains in the first place, but I, I tried my best, and that's all that matters. No, it doesn't. But anyway, that's gonna be the end for this episode. It was a very productive day. We, we captured some pillagers, we built a fountain, we finished the circle. Oh gosh, and we made this sugarcane farm. Not bad. Anyway, oh gosh. Anyway, uh, see you guys in the next episode. Oh no. <laughs> see you guys in the. See you guys in the next episode. Bye.